Okay, well, welcome, day five. You've made it, come on. Barmy Bible stories, looking at the crazy story that is Balaam and his talking donkey. Hey, I've loved taking you through this story. I wanna, con- uh, I wanna continue today, but I also wanna encourage you to continue with your devotions, looking at crazy stories like this in the Bible, because we've learned, haven't we, this week, that even in the barminess, you can see God at work, that his word is living and active and can speak even from thousands of years ago, can speak directly into our situations right now. So I want to encourage you to continue with your devotions. It's been my honor to take us through this story, but we're not done. We have our fourth lesson found in Balaam and his talking donkey, Numbers 22. Go back if you're first time watching this, go back to the other days, see the context, get all the other lessons. But day five, lesson four is this. God has given us his Word. On a few occasions in this story, we see Balaam going to God and asking him for direction. And God, quite clearly on a few occasions, gives him the direction. Only do what I'm telling you to do and only say what I'm telling you to say. In fact, in verse uh, 38 uh, of Numbers 22, Balaam explains this to King Barak. King Barak, we, we learn, is the king of the Moabites. He wants uh, his help, Balaam's help, to curse God's own people. And Balaam says this quite clearly to King Barak, number 2238, I cannot say whatever I please. I must speak only what God puts in my mouth. Balaam had many faults. My goodness me. He was a, an interesting character. In fact, the Bible clearly tells us that he's not really a man to be admired. He was a prophet, but a wicked prophet who did wicked things. And the Bible warns us of living a life like Balaam's. However, I would say that there is one thing here we can see that Balaam had some revelation on is that God's word carried more power than his words. God's authority spoken, God's word spoken by him carried more authority than his own words. And in our lives, it's exactly the same. God's word carries more authority and power than we can imagine. It carries more power than our own words being spoken because God's word carries the anointing of the king. God spoke, an entire universe was created. His word, just a word from him, has the ability to change everything. Hebrews 4, 12 in the message says this, God means what he says, what he says goes. His powerful word is sharp as a surgeon's scalpel, cutting through everything, whatever doubt or defense, laying us open to listen and obey. Nothing and no one can resist God's words. We can't get away from it, no matter what. We have access to God's word. It's called the Bible. God has given us his word. He's given us a word that is not dead and just pages on a book, but it's living and access and living and active. And not only that, but God has given us access to speak directly to him through prayer and receive words of prophecy and affirmation and encouragement from heaven itself. He's removed every barrier and blockade that we might be there so we can have access to him. God's word in our life is more powerful than our own words. And we have to have the same revelation that Balaam clearly had, that God's word carries authority. God's word carries power. Just one word from God can change everything. So what's he saying to you would be my question for today. What is he speaking to you about? And what are you saying to God or what are you speaking in your life? Are you declaring God's word over your situation? Are you declaring the words that God has put in your mouth? God has put on the pages of the Bible for you to speak and declare. Or are you actually speaking your own words over your situation? Are you declaring your own uh, idea, your own thoughts over it? Are you declaring negativity or are you declaring faith? God's word has power. God's word carries authority. And my challenge for you at the end of this devotion is to take some time and get a word from God to speak over your current season. I don't know what you're walking through, but I do know that no matter whether your season is in the valley or the mountaintop, you need a word from God to declare over it. So I wanna challenge you today, to after we we finish just in a second, to go and get a word from God's 
word, to get a scripture that you are going to declare and prophesy over your situation and circumstances. Maybe you actually need to go straight to God and pray and say, God, I need a word direct from heaven to speak over my current season. I don't know which way you want to do it, but what I want you to do is to declare the word of God over your situation. And I want you to do that today. For the next couple of weeks, take that word, write it down and prophesy it, declare it, speak it over because we've learned that God's word, God's authority, God's power carries way more than our words. And Balaam had that revelation and you too can have that revelation. Balaam said it. I can't say whatever I please. I must speak only what God has put in my mouth. And my friends, God has put in your mouth the word of God written in the Bible. So I want you to go right now, take some time, take his word and declare it over your current season. It's been incredible taking you through this journey over this last week of our Buy Me Bible stories. I can't wait to see you soon in church and I'm praying you have a great summer and a great time with whatever you're doing. And uh, we love you. We love you so much, church, and we can't wait to see you soon.